My name is Michelle Paradise. I'm 48 years old and I'm losing volume around my temples and my cheeks and I'm getting a bit jelly. And as I work in a business with lots of uh, young women, beautiful young women, brides getting married, um, I'm a bit concerned about how I look and I feel good on the inside, but I want that to reflect on the outside as well because I feel quite young on the inside. So I'm interested in seeing what, um, what I can have done. Well, Michelle, looking at your face, mm. very, very beautiful, great features. Now tell me, um, do you feel that you've lost volume across the temples? Definitely, because I can, I notice my veins, which I don't think okay. I noticed before. Okay, and, and generally your cheek contours. Yeah. Have your cheeks? Yes, it seems to have a bit hollow here, fallen a bit, yeah. Okay, a bit great. jowly there. Okay, um, generally as we, as we, as we age, uh, we do find that we lose volume in the temples, mm. along the cheeks, mm. and, and certainly in the alar region around the mouth. The, the, the drop in skin laxity and the, uh, the decrease in skin elasticity causes everything to drop a little bit south. And what that then causes is the formation of mm. the jowls and the loss of the alignment and, and, and the jaw contours. Because as you can see, the jaw contours is coming in this direction. Mm, yeah. And then with the jowl in place, it then turns across and it then comes this mm. way. Yeah. What I propose we do is try and restore as much volume we can in the upper, in the upper third of the face. Mm. Um, uh, sorry, in the, in the middle third of the face. Um, and then we can... Uh, and then we can look at possibly restoring a little bit of um, a little bit of the contour there. Um, what I propose we do is that we inject a little bit of sculpture into the temples and across the cheek line, mm -hmm. a little bit into the nasolabial region, and a little bit into the into the jawline contours as well. Great. Sculpture is ideally suited for individuals who have had significant atrophy in the middle third of the face. Um, certainly individuals particularly that have lost a lot of volume in the temples and uh, restoration of that volume uh, is provided by the gold standard treatment which is actually sculpture. Uh, we can also add volume of, co of course along the cheek uh, the, along the cheek line into the into the nose to mouth lines um, into the marionettes and to help define and redefine the jawline. I'd say that of all of the fillers that are out there because of its uh, duration of action and longevity, um, sculpture is is it would be would be the first first choice uh, filler for that. Okay, great. Okay, now sculpture itself has been around for well over ten years now. Its its use. Its, its first indications was pr mm -hmm. primarily for people with fat loss and atrophy um, in HIV in HIV cases. Um, since 1999, its its indication has now changed, um, and it's now available for cosmetic uh, use. How did that feel? It's fine. Sculpture differs from various other fillers on the market in that its, con its main constituent is lactic acid. Uh, and lactic acid acts as a stimulus for your own, co for, for your own uh, collagen production. When injected, um, because we are reliant on the lactic acid stimulating uh, this new collagen, you will find that after the initial 48 hours, the volume will go down significantly, only to return that up to around six weeks later. Um, the collagen production will continue for anything up to nine months later. Please remember the treble two rule. Yeah. So your job will be after the treatment, as of tonight, before you go to bed, right. to massage all of the treatment areas, that's your temples, the cheek line, the nose to mouth lines, mm -hmm. the marionette region, and your jaw line, two minutes, twice a day, for two weeks. Great. I can feel it. Good.
In terms of how many tra treatments Michelle will need, um, I would say that a, a course of three vials should suffice. But in, in individuals who have significantly more atrophy um, and require that little bit more, we can use anything up to six vials in the treatment course. If we look at Michelle, you'll see that um, there is an initial volume uh, to the face, that puffy look which can last up to two days. The risk of um, that redness and the risk of bruising persisting into four, uh, four days in, uh, up to a week uh, is also there. A uh, typical sculpture session is often priced in the UK according to the quantity of product that's used. Um, a one vial session is in the region of £500, uh, a two vial session um, usually around the 900 to 1000 mark. I'm feeling a little bit tender because there was some needles stuck in my face, um, but it was remarkably painless. There was, um, thanks to the anaesthetic cream, which actually took a lot longer to work than the treatment, um, I've really felt a strained sensation. I could feel the needle going in, but more I felt pressure, um, sort of pressure against, you know, bones or skin or whatever. Um, it wasn't pain as such. Um, the I've had to do a lot of um, massaging since, so that's made it a little tender. But it's incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible how quickly uh, Dr. Sash works and how quickly the whole procedure took and how painless or relatively painless it has been. I know I'm a bit red, but I understand that's going to quieten down later on today and um, I just have to keep massaging. So yeah, I'm really delighted with it, really delighted.